they're sword fishing. It's a nice mahi just swam up. Oh, yeah. Nice, oh, yeah. nice, nice bull. Nice bull. Nice pack of Mahi, right? Or sword fishing? Keep your bail up so you can let him eat it. Drift it back. Huh? You see the other one? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it sink, let it sink. Let it sink, let it sink. Drift it, drift it. Go and close your face. Might have your turn. Try him. Just why not? Wind oh, no. fast, wind fast. He's out there. On the board. A nice one. So we got one in the box. We missed one. But we got a nice bull on now. Good way to start the day if we get him. go. And we just put them in there to like chill out. They'll keep their color. We'll get a picture and uh, ice them down after that. Nice mahi guys. Good job. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the shot right there. Yeah, get him with that. No skunk. We got to catch a big fish to make it look big because that guy's really big you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the center there. All right, in the box they go. Chase just got a really big swordfish. First drop of the day, he's coming to get our fish bag. It's too big for his cooler, so we're gonna let him bar the fish bag since we don't need it yet. Hopefully it'll be our good deed of the day though and we'll get one next. Let's see if we can see this fish here. Chasing those guys with a big sword in the morning. We gave them our fish bag. We're waiting patiently. No sword bites yet. 12.49. Fifth drop of the day. Let's see what happens. We were about to throw him over. <laughs> they were starting to think he was bad luck. We got a swordfish on right now. What is it? 1.54 in the afternoon. Been fishing six hours, finally got a bite. But that's a, it's definitely a sword, he's yeah. coming up. All right, swordfish swimming up, guys. Want this one to count, hopefully.
bleeding pretty good, so. We got a keeper. <laughs> this fish is bleeding, you guys. He's in rough shape. We're eating him. Yeah, boys, swordfish. <laughs> look up. All right, so we're gonna be running, kind of quartering into the sea. We're gonna about these valves with ballast tanks. And that'll put 50 gallons of water up there, make our bow a little bit heavier, make the ride home a little bit better. We're making 30 knots, riding good. Got the ballast tanks full, we're not pounding. There we go, blowing 20 knots out of the northeast, east, northeast. See you back in the dock. All right, we're back here at Bud Mary's. Gonna load our fish, clean a couple for dinner, and call it a day. Big fish Billy's over there taking, taking down the bag and that swordfish tail. Is that your biggest one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, boy. We're gonna cut the skin off, I don't wanna peel it. We like to cut it, so we're gonna outline them first and knock the fillet off, then we'll skin them afterwards. It's falling along his backbone. There's a lot of meat up here in the head, too, so we'll get that. Go down there by his anal vent, around his gill, just like that. That's all meat in there. Sometimes people skip that. Cut down to his spine. Follow the layer down here on the bottom side of them and work the way right up to his spine again. Oh, that's a pretty neat there. Lift that fillet up and just keep working our way up. Good. <laughs> there you go. Nice dolphin fillet. Mahi mahi. I'll show you how we got the skin up too. Start down here at the skinny end. Get the knife touching the skin and just work your way up. like that. And that's my skin. We're gonna feed this to the tarpon down there. They got it. Tarpon and nurse sharks. Now we'll trim this up. This is the rib cage there. We'll cut that out. Just like that because nobody wants to eat fish bones. Throw that in the hole. And I like to flip this over and you can see that big bloodline there. We're gonna just cut right along that, knock that out. That's the part that's kind of fishy on here that we don't want to eat. Well, some people might want to eat it, but not me. There you go. We just trim out a touch more of that and we're good. A little bit more red. Cut this into more manageable pieces. It's ready to roll. There you go. Fresh mahi mahi going on the grill. There it is, folks. Fresh piece of mahi. We are gonna cut that piece in half. Sarah's gonna eat half of it. I'll eat the other half. On her piece, we're gonna put olive oil and some garlic salt. On my piece, we're gonna do olive oil with fin and feather rub, then a touch of honey at the very end of the grill. Sadie, say hi. Hello. The house remodel plus edition is coming along. It's been 14 months, but uh, we're nearing the end now. New floors are in. Sarah's working on the backsplash there. It's actually a sticker, but it actually looks pretty good. And, good job, Sarah. And the living room now is a lot bigger. And you can see all in there. We have a really nice area here now to cook and grill. We got a pool back there. We're still gonna get the railings up and finish up a few things, but uh, we got the swordfish in the pool. We got the fake grass going in. It's all coming along slowly and steadily. Let's get this fish on the grill now. Whew, that's hot, 400 degrees.
We'll check back on that in a few minutes and flip it over. We're gonna hang the spearfish up here soon. It'll be on that back wall. I got a big snowy grouper mount we wanna put up somewhere. And really happy with that swordfish though. We got the lighting on it for five years and never had lighting. Now we got track lighting on it and it looks great. Ooh, looking good. The mahi's done. We're gonna put a little honey on there for the finishing touch. I'll put a link to another video when we did honey black and mahi. That was delicious, but let's check this out here. Look how good that looks. And I know some of you guys say you can't grow grill marks in a Traeger. There's grill marks right there. I'm putting honey on mine. Sarah didn't want any on hers. Big shout out to Nick for hooking me up with the honey. Fresh honey, I love it. Look at this. Oh yeah. That looks good now. Need to get a longer dipper though. We're just gonna give that about 30 seconds. We're gonna pull a fish up. I can smell the honey now. It smells delicious. Look at that. Look at that right there. So this piece here was garlic salt with a little bit of olive oil. That's fin and feather rub with olive oil, and then a touch of honey to finish it off. If you're over five foot nine, or if you're five foot nine, you will hit that because I hit it twice already. There's Sadie. Should we give Sadie a piece of fish? All right, we're gonna give Sadie a little bit more here. Sadie loves mahi. How many two-year-olds get to eat fresh mahi? Oh my god! Oh, she's eating the whole thing. That's a big bite, sweetie. So that's dinner right there. Fresh mahi that we caught yesterday. Pair of beautiful fish, a little bit of salad, and some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> we got a new cat here too. Hi, kitty. She needs a piece of mine. No, she doesn't. She's left out. She gets left over Chinese food. So, one of our neighbors moved away and they left their cat here. She's family. She gets. She's family now. Got a couple of different people on the block here adopted her. I can't believe he gave the cat mahi. A little bit of fresh mahi for you. Only Sarah would give Gypsy the cat fresh mahi. One little bite, had to be nice to the kitty cat. But she's got really cool eyes, check them out. Gypsy, look here. No, 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 no. You can't come in here. You gotta stay out there. You're outside, kitty. Okay, out you go, out you go. Out you go. Outside, kitty. I'm allergic to cats, so the cat stays outside. She's trying to walk in here. Sadie's picking out on fresh mahi there and mac and cheese. She's making a mess. Sarah and I get to try the mahi now ourselves. We were out sword fishing, that pair of mahi came up to us. There's actually three there, we got two of them. Sarah's eating hers first, let's see what she thinks. How is it? Very moist. That's, that's one good thing about the grill there, everything stays real moist. Cause so. dried out fish is nasty. Dried out fish is no good. That grill there, the Traeger. Yeah, a little more room for error. You could be a minute or two on either side and the fish stays really good. I'm going next. Here it goes. It is really good. Just like you said, really moist. Like soft, it's actually like falling apart in my mouth there. Look at that. That's my favorite rub to put on it. And I can, t I love honey too, and you can just taste that honey on there. So if you're bored and wanna try something different, Throw a little bit of honey on it. Oh, Sarah's coming in to try a bite. That's an awfully small bite. Yeah, there was no honey on that. <laughs> you have to try a bigger bite. Can you taste the honey? Mm -hmm. Do you like that the honey? Good. We're eating fresh mahi here in February. It's not prime time for them. There's always a few around. The summer times when we get most of them, but uh, we'll take any one that the ocean gives us. So we're getting back to dinner. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We're on the quest for 100,000 subs this year. I don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but we're gonna try really hard. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching me and part of the channel. Macaroni and cheese, mahi and salad. And Sadie is down here playing with her food. Are you eating, Sadie? Sadie, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.